guys, welcome back to the Delios. It's your girl Marshall, and today, guys, I'm doing a get to know me video today on just you know little things about myself because I feel like I never gave that to you all. So today is the day to give it all and let it all go. got questions from like other videos because I'm really not big on IG and you know other platforms this is like my main platform I just prefer to you know write some questions down um questions people ask me out you know outside of YouTube people probably wondering about um you know and close friends the questions they'll ask you or whatever so here we go Question number one, where are you from? I'm pretty much from Jacksonville, Florida, born and raised. You know, I travel other places, but this is where I was born and raised. Question number two, do you have a nickname and who gave it to you? My nickname is Shell, hence Marshall, and my family and close friends call me Shell. My grandma gave me the nickname Tut. So she's pretty much the only one to call me Tut, but it's really like 10 Tut. I don't know why she named me that. I think she said, oh, I remember. She said because I was so heavy and big and chunky as a, a little baby that it looked like I was 10 tons. So she's named me 10 Tut. Sometimes I use that name other places outside of like family or whatever. I'm like, hey, somebody asked me my name, I'm like, Tut, you know, just so they won't. People I don't want to know my name, I will most definitely, most definitely tell them my name is Tut. Just hands down, Tut. I love that nickname. That nickname grew on me um, from day one, pretty much. She gave me the perfect nickname, I feel like. Because some people, their nickname don't even match them. But my nickname matched me. So, I feel like Tut was just perfect. It is perfect. How tall are you? So, I'm five, six and a half. So, I'm almost like five, seven. But I'm five, six and a half. I'm probably my my mom's tallest kid because I don't think my brother is taller than me. I think my brother like five, six, five. He may be five, seven, but I don't know. We kind of like neck and neck. But anywho, um, what's your favorite color? My favorite color, hands down, is blue. I really don't care the shade of blue, but... I just love the blue. I'm attracted to blue. Um, what's your favorite scent? So I'm not even I'm not even numbering the uh questions. I'm just like, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite scent? You know, my bad. So I don't even know what question this is, but it was like, what's your favorite scent? I don't have like one favorite scent. I like a variety of different scents. I like lavender. I like uh, hibiscus. I love what else scents I like. I can't like name them all right now, but I love a variety of scents. Vanilla, uh, vanilla's okay, but I rather lavender over vanilla. So, but I have a variety of different scents that I love. Um, Dependent on the situation. Uh, Dependent on my mood. Not the situation. But my mood. Okay, so the next question is, what made you want to start a YouTube channel? So, it's a variety of reasons I want to start a YouTube channel. Um, one of the reasons is because I love to, like, share information if i have information to share and i also like to entertain people like people i was like you is a trip girl you funny blah 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 
and I just love to make people laugh and I love joking around and stuff. I also, you know, couldn't could not find a a way to entertain people like on a big platform. So when I found out that YouTube, I can actually make YouTube videos. I was like, I can make YouTube videos to entertain people? That's right up my alley. That's right up my alley. Really, this channel is a family channel. We do vlogs and challenges and pranks and everything in between. And I was like, I don't know, you know, if anybody's going to like me or whatever. So, I was like, I'm going to give it a try. And I be doggone. I got people to like me. People like me. Think I'm funny and stuff. So... I really appreciate this platform because um, I love bringing, you know, entertainment to people, make people smile and laugh, like I said before or whatever. So, yeah, that's what made me start a YouTube channel because, you know, you mostly I work and come home, work and come home. So, I'm really entertaining my coworkers. So, when I found out I can make videos on YouTube, I was like, bet, let's do this. I never knew I could make videos. Like I thought it was something else. Like I think I, my kids knew about it, but I never knew about it. So my kids was like maybe five and six or something, maybe five and six or maybe four and five. No, maybe five and six because the oldest she know a lot of stuff. She's so talented. But um, yeah, when I when I found out I could make videos, I most definitely like this is it. I. I am able to share my gift with other people, do what I love to do. So that's why I started a YouTube channel, guys. The next question is my favorite Netflix show. Ooh, I like weird stuff, like alien stuff. I like, I like action movies. I like scary movies. Well, actually, you asked me what? Netflix show I like. I I would have to say Stranger Things is probably one of my favorites. I don't have like a favorite favorite, but I'm going to say Stranger Things is my favorite one of my favorites. Do you guys like Stranger Things? I like Stranger Things. Okay, um what countries have I been to? Um, I've only traveled in the U.S. of A. I have never been out of the country. Do I desire to go outside the country? Yes, I do want to go out of this country. But I never did. I don't know why. It's the weirdest thing. I don't, I don't know why. Like, what is the big deal? It's mostly because I kind of don't want to take my kids with me. I kind of just want to go by myself or like with a group of girls or something like that. I really don't want to even take my husband. Like somebody, at least somebody got to stay and watch the kids. But I feel like my youngest was too small for me to even travel anywhere. I, then I get over that. Then I have another. It's like I have a baby and then I don't go nowhere. Then I'm like, they too little, blah, blah, blah. Then I have another baby, then the same cycle. Then I have another baby, then the same cycle. So it's like, I don't know when it's a good time. I think now is a good time to go outside the country because my oldest is about to be 5 July 17th. And I think it's the perfect time to go out the country. But I will keep y'all up on that topic okay the next question is what is your favorite food so my favorite foods are vegetables i love broccoli and green beans and sweet peas and corn asparagus i can, i like squash i like zucchini Sucking Tash is one of my favorites. Um, I I like a lot of vegetables. And like my second thing will most definitely be like uh, crab legs. 
that's second. And then you can put the broccoli in there, the asparagus <laughs> in the crab pot, all that, right? So yeah, vegetables, green, mostly green leafies. I like I like spinach. I like all that stuff. I like my favorite um, salad is the romaine lettuce. Um, when, when I make salad, I like to use romaine lettuce. Mm -hmm. If if I made a salad from you know homemade salad. I should say. But if it's like one of my out the store, I just get one like the whole family like. But I like spinach and romaine in my salad. Yeah, that's what I like. Spinach and romaine in my salad. As a salad, whatever. And um what's your favorite store to shop at? So for clothing, I like the Nike store. I'm kind of like laxy lats. I like to like be comfortable. You know, I like heels, but not all day. I, uh -uh. Give me some sneakers all day long, every day. And um, I be trying to break out that little tomboy stuff, but I don't feel like it's tomboyish, but everybody else around me be like, you know, you so tomboyish. You, you always dress in all lax. You need to dress up. I was like, I do dress up and I put some sandals on them. And I think it look cute. Cause they dressy sandals. They just not no just slide on sandals. They dressy sandals. Yeah. Um who do you tell all your secrets to? <laughs> nah, baby. <laughs> know about all my secrets a secret isn't a secret if you tell but i do give my sister a lot of leeway in my secret life my little sister i do let her know what what the business is she don't know all of my secrets but she know quite a few secrets, okay? So I most definitely say my sister. Big. What is your favorite memory? Hmm. It would probably be when when I was a little kid, me and my brother and sister used to play and stuff. And um, we used to pretend we were superheroes. And I just think that was so innocent and just, I, I, like, I like those memories when I was a kid and we used to play superhero. So I think that's my favorite memory. Yeah. But um what's your favorite movie? Oh uh, I say show earlier. Okay, so my favorite movie is I don't have like a favorite movie. I would say I like action movies and scary movies. Just like I like the shows. But if I if I had to pick up a scary movie and action movie, it would definitely be a action movie. Preferably the Avenger, uh, Avenger movie. Like when an Avenger movie come out, me and my kids be like, this, the whole family. We love Avenger movies. So action movies in general, like, uh, I can't, I don't know why I be getting brain farts like that, but John Wick and, um, the new look Kevin Hart with um the man from Toronto, like stuff like that. I like stuff like that and uh, all the Avenger movies. I don't dislike that one Avenger movie. I don't know if it's not my Avenger movie fanatic, but they all are really good movies. Okay. What's your zodiac sign? Or what's your star sign? Or what is your sign? I don't know what all y'all use, but 
My sign is Virgo. My birthday is September 16th. I'm a Virgo, y'all. What is your biggest fear? Wow. Well, and I, and I had my daughter help me with these questions. So it's not like I just picked them all by myself. She actually put some of these questions on here. The ones I'm like, wait a minute. She put those questions on this list. Next question, what is your biggest fear? First of all, fear is not real. I learned that from one of my favorite movies. Um, that fear is not real. But what I don't like is that um, the more you grow and you try to share with people, the more they try to downplay um, your success or downplay your life just in general. That's it. But I'm definitely not scared of it because I know pretty much I'm on your mind. Hands down, I'm on your mind. For you to be sitting up there trying to downplay my whole life. You thought of a whole strategy to try to downplay me. Like... You don't have nothing else to do? Just saying. Just saying. That's just my thoughts. Okay. Have you thought about modeling? So, a lot of people ask me that. And I say no. I never thought about modeling. They try to put me in the category with Winnie Harlow. She's very beautiful, very successful and stuff. And she, her timing was very, you know, efficient, accurate when it came to her career and her growth. I did, my my first time ever seeing her was on American Next Top Model with Tyra Banks. But other than that, I don't desire to be a model and no aspect like mm, maybe i'm not saying i'm i'm close-minded about it but i never even thought about being a model i don't when people ask me i'm like no and then i forget all about the conversation because i'm really not interested in it <laughs> at all so wow yeah i think i should have had a light on this whole time y'all let me see nah. okay so do you have any regrets about life do i have any regrets about life no, not really. I am the type of person that if you learn, it's okay to make mistakes as long as you learned from your mistakes. Like, you have got to learn from them. Don't just keep making the same mistake over and over and over and over and over and over, over, over again. You have to learn from it. So, with that being said... No, I don't have any regrets about life. I am thankful and grateful that I've learned from my mistakes. I promise you. Every mistake I've made, I learned from it. If I decide to do it again, that's on me. But I know the consequences. But to keep doing just repetitive stuff that's not going to help growth or production... Just stop doing it. That's what I learned. Anyway. Um, are you married? My baby must have put that on there. Yes, I am married. Very much so. The ring. He gave that to me. Do you have any siblings? Oh, yes. I have siblings. Um, my mom had three of us. It's, my, it's me. I'm the oldest. 
My brother is the middle child and my sister is the youngest. And I think we're like two and a half years apart from each other. And what are, next question. What are your pet peeves? The only thing I don't really care for is sneezing without covering your mouth properly. Don't sneeze like this. No. Don't sneeze like No. Sneeze like this. True. In your arm. That's how you are supposed to sneeze. That is the proper way to sneeze. If you decide not to sneeze that way, it's okay. But I'm just saying, that's the proper way to sneeze to keep you from spreading germs to others. Because it'd be little spores in the air. Shoo! We do that spores out in the air for a few seconds, just floating around. And anybody three feet, Unless it's going to get the business. Um, What is your favorite music genre? So, I'm definitely a R&B type of person. I listen to all different types of music, but my favorite is R&B. Most definitely. Do you have any piercings and how many? Okay, so I have two piercings in this ear. I have three piercings in this ear. So it's like two at the bottom and there's one up here. I used to have one up here, but it, it what it's called, grow one of those big old, uh, I can't think of what name of them, but it was infected, so I took the earring out. And these two flourish, and this flourish, and then I got, I left this one here. So it's kind of like one of my little styles. I think it's cute when I do put it in, though. I notice I, I have no earrings on. What? No one, I feel weird, but yeah. Hold on, y'all. Let me put some earrings on. Okay, guys, I'm back and I got on some earrings. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. Got some earrings on. <laughs> I feel whole again. Alrighty. Oh, I'm not done with the piercings. <laughs> so I got three here, two here, and I got a belly ring. And I also used to have a tongue ring, but I got into the medical field and I took it out. So yeah, I used to, I used to have a tongue ring. And did I like it? Yes, I did like it. It was really nice. Next question. Do you have tattoos? I do not have any tattoos. I think about getting a tattoo, but then I'm like, what am I going to get? What kind of tattoo am I really going to get? You know, I want a tattoo. No one's going to copy. I don't want a tattoo someone else has because really we all think alike. We all kind of like think alike. Ooh. We all kind of like think alike, like in real life. We all kind of think alike. I don't know how, but I'm sitting here making the video about, you know, certain things. And somebody on the other side thinking about the same video on the other side of the world somewhere. But just saying, we may never see each other video. Okay. Next question. What did you want to be as a child? Well, I remember in fourth grade, I was fifth grade. I think it was fifth grade. I had a teacher and she always used to ask us all the time, what would we want to be when we grow up? I was like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like that. So, she made a project, she made us do a project, a report, not a project, 
about what we want it to be when we grow up. You already know, I'm like, I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. So I started thinking about it and I started looking around my room, you know, like, what do I like to do? What do I like to do? At the time, I wanted to be a, once I looked around and I figured out all my hobbies and stuff, I liked to read when I was little. I liked to color, draw. I like to sing. I just thought I was the next Beyonce. Well, really the next Britney Spears around here. The next Christina Aguilera. Because that's who I used to listen to as a kid. Well, when I was younger or whatever. But um, before the Christina Aguilera and the Britney Spears, I used to always listen to like different music my mom used to play. She used to play... Um, Johnny Gill, I don't know the name of it, but it's like, slip on your red dress, uh, like that. I used to listen to that, and this other song got, I've been around the road and I, yeah, yeah, I can't find my baby. Huh, I don't, I don't know the people's names, but, um, those are the songs, like, I used to listen to all the time. And um, I used to sing them all the time. Even when my mom wasn't around, I used to play them, draw, color, read. That's what I used to do. So I, when I went to school, when the project was due, I went to school and I wrote a whole project about how I wanted to be a lawyer. So I was like, this is how I said it. I remember it like it was yesterday. I was like, when I grow up, I want to be a lawyer because no matter how the world changes, a lawyer is always needed, whether you lie or not. That's what I said. That's what I said. That is what I said. So I was like, maybe I should pursue my dreams of being a lawyer. But uh, I never went to law school. When I got older, I never desired to go to law school. So what can I say? The next question, what's your favorite thing about yourself? My, I never thought about that question. So I know, yeah, Jada wrote that question down. Um, what's my favorite thing about myself? I, my favorite thing about myself is most definitely me having, you know, my willingness to, you know, encourage others to grow. Like, I'm very persuasive, I should say, when it comes to things that I'm passionate about and what I see in you. Cause sometimes I can see certain things, you know, the good, I look for the good in people and I get to know you. And then I'm like, well, why don't you try such and such? I think you'll be very successful in such and such. So I like that about myself that I'm not a hater. I like to see people succeed and be happy and be great and be their best selves. So that's what I like about myself. What I actually love about myself. Um, is your hair natural? Well, next question. I'm gonna try to do that. Um, is your hair natural or relaxed? Well, prior to getting pregnant with my last baby, my hair was relaxed. Then I started growing out naturally. My hair grew so long, but I went back and got relaxed and cut short. I really like my short haircuts, y'all, but I don't want to, I don't want to relax my hair anymore. Like I have my times when I do want to relax and I may even go back to getting it relaxed, but I really don't want my hair relaxed. I really like my natural hair. Um, I could just get in the pool and just whatever and wash it and grease it and comb it out go from natural to relax i fluctuate because sometimes i be wanting my hair relaxed because i don't know why but oh oh when i get my short styles i don't know why but when i get my short styles i like my hair relaxed
So, yeah. Next question. Heels or sneakers? I think I answered this already. I prefer sneakers over heels any day. Um, If you can only pick one food to eat forever, what would it be? Not a variety of food, just like one food forever. Mm. It would probably be a vegetable lasagna. Yeah, get a little bit of everything in vegetable lasagna. <laughs> Uh, what do you think of friendships? I would say just like be careful who you call your friend. Um, don't don't call everybody your friend. Just just have a little a little circle of friends. Maybe maybe. Maybe six of you guys, if that, if that much, just a little circle of friends um, that y'all do everything together. Y'all can talk to one another without the whole world knowing. Um, but never, but never tell anyone anything that you don't want anyone to know, whether they're your good friend or not. That's just from that's life experience. Okay, next question. If you had another baby, do you want a boy or a girl? So, <laughs> I would have to say a boy. I like both, you know, either boy or girl, but because I already have two girls, I would out if I had another baby, I wanted to be a boy. So I had a girl, then a boy, then another girl, and then I have another boy. It'd be in do do do. Boop boop boop. Next question. What inspires you? What inspires me? What inspires me is pretty much my potential, like my curiosity of where I can be further in life. Like, like where else can I be or where else I can grow to be my best self? So curiosity inspires me. And who inspires you? I would say my children inspires me. Yes. Next question. What is your dream vacation? I always wanted to go to Hawaii. I know that's part of the US of A, but I never been to Hawaii. I always wanted to go to Hawaii for several reasons. I want to go to an island with the black sand. I want to see the volcanoes. I want to see the scenery in general. I want to learn the history. Like, try some of the food. It's a different variety of reasons I want to go to Hawaii. So, that that's where I want to go. So, I answer like two questions in one. Like, what's my dream vacation and why? <laughs> okay. What is your favorite season? So, season, summer, spring, fall, winter. My favorite season is spring. I live here in Florida. So during the springtime, it's cold only at night and early in the morning. 
So when you, if you work day shift, you get off of work and it feels so great outside. It's not too cold. It's not too hot. It's just the perfect weather in the springtime. Summer, when summer comes, it's hot. When winter comes, it's cold as ever. Like for Floridians, when it's a little bit cold, it is freezing outside. So spring is just the perfect balance of the weather. So spring. Mm, next question. What is your favorite time of day? I would have to say my favorite time of day is dinner time. Um, because we do gather around the, the dining room table and we talk and stuff. Since like summer started or whatever, we really haven't like, haven't really been having dinner together because like, I've been working a lot at night and then kevin comes home he just be ready to eat he's going to man cave and that's it but during school you know i don't work as much i mostly work the weekends and um i probably work like sunday monday like i mean like saturday sunday monday or friday saturday sunday monday and that's it i'm done for the week but um Dinner time is my favorite time of the day because we all sit at the table and we talk about our day, preferably, you know, about how was school, what you learned today, you know, stuff like that. We sit down, we have dinner at like 6.30, 7 o'clock. Not supper, we have dinner. Because my kids, they come home, they eat lunch. They come home from school, they eat a snack, like some chips and a sandwich, and they hold them off to like 6, 37 o'clock. So when we do get together, it be dinner time, and we sit down and we conversate about our day. So that's my favorite time of the day. Mm, next question. Are you more likely to avoid or engage in conflict? Um, don't get me wrong when like conflict be happening, I do sit and I watch, but I don't put my two cents into conflict. I do not engage uh, you know, enhance conflict. Um that's that's even with my own family like you i feel like it's too much friction i'm definitely if you got to go uh you delete it out of my whole life friends family i don't care you delete it out of my whole life if i feel like you trying to do something shady trying to you know jeopardize my happiness my family my well-being my children's love being my husband's it doesn't matter you got to go if i feel like you don't like me you got to go so i feel like i don't engage into conflict and nor do i in you know enhance it or whatever um i don't i avoid it i guess that's what you can say i avoid conflict outside of my family I just feel like it's no reason for me to even have a com conflict with you. You don't pay my bills and what do you have to lose? We're sitting here as colleagues or whatever, or we sitting here as coworkers or whatever, but you ain't got nothing to lose. I know what I got to lose, but you might not have nothing to lose and you trying to engage in some foolery. So I feel like you just go over there and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay over here. Cause I don't, I really don't have time for all that at all. Ha! So I avoid conflict, family, friends, outsiders. It does not matter. I don't, I don't do conflict. Okay. What is most important in your life? You know, it says, what is the most important thing in your life? Most important thing to me in my life is the relationships I do 
still have with family and friends. So I think that is very important to me. Um, if I fit, but at the same time, if I feel like you jeopardizing anything that brings quality to my whole entire life, you could be off the, you could be kicked to the curb too. That's just that. I don't know. I know y'all don't accept that. But if you do, I mean, it's a lesson learned. You know, everybody don't learn the same way or at the same time. Some people never experience conflict with their family or friends. So, yeah. Just saying. Um, are you a good cook? I mean, I'm not... Betty Crocker or nobody, but I do know how to cook. I know how to cook a variety of things. And when I was younger, I did not know how to cook. Like I was a taste tester, the prepper. I never like used to put the ingredients together. So I learned later in life how to cook. And I did not start with just no seasoning salt. My husband was, let me tell y'all a story. My husband was like, when you first started cooking, all you all used to cook with was seasoning salt. I was like, first of all, I never used to cook with just seasoning salt. I probably never put a lot of seasoning on my food, but I never just cook with seasoning salt. My mama used to cook. I, you really think I used to just put seasoning salt on food? You got to be out of your mind. I put a variety. I always used to basil and obey and all kinds of different seeds of Oregon and you name it Italian uh just a different variety of stuff like I used to always put Italian and basil in my spaghetti like I love those flavors so it's like I don't know where you get that from I used to use salt like garlic salt instead of versus garlic powder because garlic salt with seasoning salt and i'm i'm not saying i never use seasoning salt now but that wasn't just my only seasoning i don't know where he get that from first of all i never used to cook him when we first met like i'm talking about never not even breakfast no nothing so i don't know where he get that from anywho Next question, what is your favorite restaurant? Guys, I really don't have a favorite restaurant. <sighs> it's not what I'm in the mood for. I don't, I really don't have a, like a favorite restaurant for real, for real. I like Olive Garden, that's one of my favorite, one of my favorites. Then I like Juicy Crab. Um, I like Chipotle. So it's like a variety of restaurants I prefer. If I had to pick one, I'd just be hungry. I just, I just cook at home. <laughs> because I don't have a favorite. I really don't have a favorite nothing but a favorite color. And a favorite genre of music as far as like the only favorites I have. Next question. Who is your favorite child? Now, y'all know. I do not have a favorite child. Now, my youngest, she prefers a little more of my attention versus my oldest, which can do any and everything by herself. And my middle child, too. I do give my kids equally hugs and kisses all the time when i see them when i greet them when i leave them i'm giving hugs and kisses if they're asleep i kiss them while they're asleep when they when i arrive i kiss them when i arrive i don't have a favorite child no no next question how did you get your name my first name? Well, this is a funny story. I don't know if the story is true because my mom played too much. But she, so one day she was pregnant with me and the whole family was going out, you know, having a day out. And 
They was like, Marie, what you gonna name the baby? She was like, I don't know. So she was like, they stopped at the Shell station and she asked for a Mars bar on, you know, when they come back to the car. You know, she asked for a Mars bar when my uncle was going in the store. So he come out, get him, give her the Mars bar. She was like, she was like, oh, I'm gonna name her Marshall. I was like, she plays so much, y'all. Like, I don't even know if that joke true, but that's what she said. When I ask her, every time I ask her, she give me that story. So it might be true. I'm not sure for real. <laughs> The next question. What was the first book you ever read from front to back? Ooh. It was probably a book that I that I can remember because I used to read Dr. Seuss books all the time. I used to read The Babysitter's Club all the time. So it had to be like The Babysitter's Club. I, I really don't know. But the uh, one I used to read, I remember reading, reading, and it was a sad book that wasn't like Babysitter's Club, Kid Friendly, whatever. It was a book called Don't Let Me Die. It was so sad. I just remember it being really sad. And I read that book from front to back. So... Next question, did you ever go to college? Yes, I did go to college. And I took up nursing. I still work in the nursing field and it's very rewarding. It's a very rewarding career. Um, it has its ups and downs like in a career. Um, the pros of it is that it's flexible with scheduling and the cons of it is that, you know, you have to leave your family to go take care of other people's family. So, um, but once you get to work, the, the, the people you take care of, most of them are very grateful. You have some that feel entitled. You must take care of them, but it's some that's very, for real, for real, thankful that you're there taking care of them. And that's real talk. And that's what gets a lot of nurses up out of bed to go and help them. When you think about the grateful ones. So next question. What's your favorite alcoholic drink and your and favorite regular drink? My favorite alcoholic drink is red wine, preferably Stella Rose Red. That's my favorite alcoholic drink. And, you know, I don't drink like gin and, you know, vodka. Just give me a little red wine. I'm good. And my favorite regular drink is most definitely Pepsi. I could drink a Pepsi cold. I could drink a Pepsi at room temperature. Never drunk the Pepsi hot, like, you know, hot. But I do like Pepsi. Next question. Have you ever been to a concert? I've been to several concerts, but the first concert I ever went to was at a club called 618, back in the day, downtown Jacksonville. And I saw the group, um, I think it was Phil Mob. With the two men, right? It was like two men. Yeah, anywho, Phil Mob, I went to, I went to K. Michelle concert and I went to like the Millennium Tour concert. I always wanted to go to a Usher concert, but never did. Um, what else? I really haven't been to a lot of concerts. Do you consider yourself an introvert or extrovert? Well, I'm kind of both in a sense, but it's it depends on the energy you put off. If you putting off bad energy, I'm definitely gone. But if you cool, I'm definitely gone. 
So yeah, it depends on the energy of the person I'm around or people I'm around. So yeah. Next question. What are your hobbies? My hobbies are basically watching movies, chilling, and listening to music. That's what I like to do now. Listen to music, chill, watch movies. Yep. We have movie night most Fridays. Because sometimes my kids just want to be with their friends or just be on the phone with their friends. And they really don't want to talk, uh, be around us or whatever. They growing up, y'all. But um, we have movie nights on Fridays. Next question. Have you ever met a celebrity? No, not like face to face. What happened was I was in Atlanta, Georgia, and we we, we were walking in, in the mall, and I saw not crime mob, yin yang twins across the um on the other side of the mall. That's the closest I ever got to meeting a celebrity. And this this is the topper. The freaking uh oh, sorry about that. The freaking people were just walking around like they were regular non-celebrity people. Just walking around, nobody running up to them. Hey, can you show the crowd? Oh, no. None of that. It was just regular people. So I thought that was pretty cool. Next question. Do you hold grudges? <laughs> um, I wouldn't say I hold grudges like for a long time. It may be like a, a day or two, I hold a grudge. And it depends on the severity of what you did to me. De definitely. If it's, it's definitely not a grudge if I put you out of my life. It's definitely not a grudge. It is, you ain't in my life no more. Period. Um, How many children do you have? I didn't ask this. I have three kids. I have a, a oldest daughter. She's 13. Her name is Jada. I have a 11 year old son. His name is K Dan. And I have a four year old daughter. Her name is Corey. If I like somebody said though, her name is Corey. Next question Are you crafty or handy? I'm not really a crafty type of person. I'm not a DIYer, but I I can put some stuff together. I am handy. I can put some stuff together. And I love putting stuff together, as a matter of fact. That's just a fun fact about me. I love buying stuff from Amazon and putting it together. That's what I do. This pretty much this whole office I put together. Of course, I need to help like lifting and stuff or whatever. But other than that, I put this whole office together by myself. Even this chair I'm sitting in right now. Yep. Next question. Can you sing? I mean, I'm not like the most awful singer. I can, I can bust a little bit. I can, you know, show out a little bit. Can you dance? I'm not the best dancer neither, but I, I got some rhythm. And I can do the dang thing. <laughs> I most definitely can. I could do a little of both. So what food you can live without? It have to be beets. I don't like beets. I like, I like rutabaga, but I don't like beets. I can live without beets. And I was like, oh, it's higher than iron. And da, 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 da. I'm like, I totally get it. But if I can live without it, I ain't about to. If it was the last meal on earth, well, of course i eat it. But if I don't have to eat it, I'm definitely not going to eat it. Okay. Next question. Do you prefer lip gloss or lipstick? Hmm. I prefer I prefer lipstick. I like pink lipstick. I like I like pink lipstick. I like, I like a little tinted brown. Just a little little tinny of brown lipstick. I like that. Yeah. But you I, you see me wearing gloss all the time. Because I feel like when I go swell with my little lipstick, like right now I got Carmax. Like. 
I, I got to keep something on my lips. I can't have crusty lips, y'all. That's just period. But I prefer um, lipstick. But on a regular, everyday basis, lip gloss. Yeah. Ooh, my throat dry. Next question, are you a morning person or an evening person? I don't like to say I'm not a morning person, but I'm not an early morning person. Like, don't be trying to make me go nowhere at, or uh, get ready to go anywhere at 4.30 to 5 o'clock in the morning. That's all I'm saying. Nah, if it's, I gotta be somewhere at 9 o'clock, I'm good. <laughs> Let me I wake up at seven. I leave the house at eight. I'm I'm dropping the baby off at school and then I'm headed your way. Just saying. Next question. Mm, where is it? Where am I? Are you left-handed or right-handed? I'm right-handed. Everything I do, I do with my Dominant hand until you start acting up or whatever personal reasons, then I have to use my left hand. So I can write with my left hand and my right hand, but my dominant hand is my right hand. Next question Do you have any allergies? Not that I know of. I'm not allergic to nothing. Do you have any fetishes? Hmm. Darling. Yes. Um, my fetish is well are dimples. I love dimples. Oh. My oldest baby got dimples, and I thought my other two was gonna have dimples, but they don't. Cause my husband kind of like got one little dimple, but um they end up having well they end up not having any dimples but my oldest has dimples do you have any pets that is the next question i do not have any pets but i do see some pets in the future because my little one she wants a pet and then my middle kid wants a pet my oldest she don't care either way if it's his, she gonna love it. If it's not his, it's okay. But um, I do see a small dog in the future because I prefer dogs over cats. But um, yeah, most definitely a dog I see in the near future. Next question. Do you speak any other languages? No, I do not speak any of the languages, but I do want to learn Spanish and Creole. So I do want to learn other languages, but it's okay that I don't. I, I have time if that's what I really want to do. But no, I don't have any other languages I speak. I understand a little bit of Spanish more than I can speak it. So it's the rolling of the tongue for me. And I have a lazy tongue. I don't know if you noticed in this video, I had to repeat myself several times because I'll be talking and I'm not, I don't talk fast. If I'm talking fast, it is most definitely not on purpose. Like when I try to talk fast on purpose, it does not work out for me. Does not. My tummy, bleh, 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 bleh. but I have to repeat myself a lot because I don't use my tongue the way I'm supposed to. I have a lazy tongue. So speaking Spanish, you have to. Ah, ah, so yeah, mm -mm. but I I will learn it. You know, if that's the last thing I do, I'm gonna learn me some Spanish. And probably some Creole. So the next question is, what is your skin condition called? 
My skin condition is called vitiligo. V-I-T-I-L-I-G-O. And it's an autoimmune um, disorder. I don't like use disease. It's just sound like a disease. So I always use disorder or condition. I, I vary between two conditions or disorder. So it's an um, autoimmune disorder that attacks the color in your skin. Wherever your body is attacking you at, it turns white. So it's, you know, that's just what it is. Um, Does it bother you? Does what bother me? Oh, does the vitiligo bother me? I have my ups and down days about how I feel about vitiligo, to be honest with everyone. I, I, I want to be honest. I want this, you know, channel to be all about, um, I want to be transparent. I want this channel to be transparent. I want to be real at all times. So, to be honest with you, I don't like to share how I feel about it. But, yes, it bothers me sometimes. Because, you know, I have people in my life that be like, Oh, you know, your, vitilio, your vitiligo is so cute. They actually be like, your skin is so cute. Oh, I just think it's just the most beautiful thing in the world. It's so beautiful. So... I'm not supposed to be white. I was born black. So I want to be black all over. Not just in certain spots. If that makes sense. I'm thankful and grateful for life. I'm thankful and grateful for life in general. But the vitiligo, you know, sometimes a bit much. Just being honest. Just be honest, guys. That's it. I don't have a problem with other people that how they feel about their vitiligo, but the way I feel about my vitiligo, I, I just you know, I just want to turn back brown the way the color I came out as a child. Just period. And like I said, I'm not knocking those who love their vitiligo. If you love your vitiligo, you love who you are, I'm all for it. But when it pertains to me, sometimes it bothers me. I would say 10% out of 100% times that it bothers me. It does not bother me to the point where I'm just going to lay in a shell and never come out. I embrace it. Like, sometimes I'm the center of attention. Sometimes I don't want to be the center of attention. But sometimes I'm the center of attention in the room. I embrace it. You know, my confidence when I am in a crowded room. It, you know, when it, people first see me, they be like, mm. You know how some women be like, oh, yeah. She ain't cute to me. She got this going on, this going on. Women are like that judgmental. But when I show my confidence, it it totally changed their whole perspective of me. So you can't let something that you can't control, you know, keep you in the shell and keep you from growth. No matter what it is that people can see. Because uh, some people have diseases inside that you can't see. For example, some people, lupus don't, everybody don't get lesions. Some people have diabetes. Some people, it's just different things that you can't see. But you can't let that hinder you because they can't see it. And even on the inside, if you do have it, you know you have it. But you can't let that hinder you neither. You have to embrace everything. Not to the point that I'm just, I give up on life. That's not what I'm saying. I love my entire life and everything in it. Just saying. Just saying, it's it's harder for people with conditions on the outside versus people with conditions on the inside. And that's real talk. But either or, don't let that stop you from being your best you. Hands down. Okay? All right. Is it a cure for your vitiligo? 
it's not a cure for vitiligo, guys. Like, at all. It is not a cure for vitiligo. Period. Not no cure I ever seen. Not no cure I ever heard of. No cure. Is it treatment for vitiligo? I used to get back in the day light therapy before my oh my whole hand became pale. I used to get light treatment. It's called UVB treatments. And um it I was diagnosed by a dermatologist and he, and, and I had to go three times a week. And it did, you know, eventually, you know, come back. But um, on my hands, it never did. Like, other places on my body, it came back. As soon as, like, I stopped treatment, those very six little places <laughs> that he was treating, came. that was the first thing that started turning pale. So, um, the side effects was just not worth me going there three times a week. Mm -mm, I'm good. Um, does it hurt? Guys, vitiligo does not hurt. Um, it what it is is just regular skin. It's regular skin. It feels like regular skin. If you got soft skin, your your vitiligo areas is soft. If you got rough skin, your vitiligo areas are rough. But it's just skin that lost color. That's it. If you are new to the channel, leave a comment and be like, "I'm new, girl." Hey. We post on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday consistently. Staying right, honey. We got to get it done. Get it done. And that's what we're going to do. Now, remember, this is a family channel. I do pranks, vlogs, challenges, everything in between with my kiddos and my hubby. For more entertainment from the Dillios, D-A-D-E-A-L-I-O-S, L-I-O-S, the Dillios. So guys, don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and if you have any questions, like if you want us to do, well, if you want me to do a part two with like the kids, um, a question, a Q and A, we can most definitely do that. We can most link up and do that. Okay. So, all right, guys have a great day. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Bye.